When we were talking about bonds before, we mentioned that the major reason why atoms form bonds is to fill the outer electron shell, also known as the valence shell. By looking at the number of electrons in the outermost shell, we can actually predict how many bonds that particular atom of that particular element will make. Let's take a look at some of the more common elements and see how many bonds they'll most likely make. Let's start with hydrogen. Hydrogen is made up of one proton. Because it has one proton, a normal hydrogen atom also has one neutron and one electron. This leaves one empty space in the electron orbital. Hydrogen atoms will therefore make one bond in order to fill up this empty space. Next we have oxygen. Oxygen atoms always have eight protons. And a normal oxygen atom, because it has eight protons, will also have eight neutrons and eight electrons. This means that an oxygen atom will have two electrons in the first orbital, and then the remaining six electrons will be in the outermost orbital, leaving two empty spaces in the outer shell. So oxygen will make two bonds to fill those spaces. Nitrogen has seven protons, and therefore a normal nitrogen atom has seven neutrons and seven electrons. There would be two electrons in the innermost orbital, and the remaining five electrons will fill up the outer shell. So it's going to want to make three bonds. Carbon has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Two in the innermost shell, and the remaining four on the outer valence shell. So it's going to want to make four bonds in order to fill up the four empty spaces in its valence shell. Now while we could just draw a little diagram of each of these atoms, in order to visualize how many bonds that they're going to make, we also have a little expression called honk. H-O-N-C. Hydrogen makes one bond. Oxygen will make two. Nitrogen will make three. And carbon will make four. If you forget to honk, however, you can always draw the diagram of the atom and realize how many bonds they're most likely going to make.